We've had chickens for about nine months now, and we thought that it might be worthwhile for us to reflect on some of the lessons that we've learned the hard way. The first thing that we learned was you don't try to brood 11 chickens in the house. We had an old wire dog kennel that was just about the right size for 11 chickens, but the spaces in the wire were not the right size. So we had two adventurous leghorns that got out frequently. Also putting six inches of cardboard along the bottom didn't exactly help to keep them in and it didn't keep the pine shavings in either. So it was still a mess. And every day and a half or so, the smell got so bad that we had to do a full clean out of the, um, of the kennel anyway. So it took us about four days to decide that we should brood these guys in the coop and run an extension cord for the heater, which was not a um, heat lamp, but a Brinzy breather. In the future, we'll only be brooding about two chicks at a time, so that, that we can handle in the garage. The second thing that we learned the hard way was to not keep food and water in the coop. Um, which was unfortunate because we had a really neat setup with pulleys suspending the waterer and some nice gravity feeders that my husband made out of PVC. Um, but then we had a family of squirrels that found that all of their needs could be taken care of by going into the coop. So we ended up going with a grandpa feeder to replace the gravity feeder. The grandpa feeder is a treadle feeder where the chickens have to come and step on it and then it opens up and then they can eat. It took about a week to train them how to use it and now they eat with no problem. And so far we haven't noticed any other animals come and try to use it. So that's been working out pretty well for us. On the waterer we had three plastic boxes each with two nipples on the bottom side where the chickens could come and um, drink from. That worked out fine until the plastic boxes uh, started to develop some algae on the inside. So I took it off and cleaned it with the hose and in the process broke it. And so then I couldn't find any more of those boxes to replace it. So we went with a different nipple altogether, um, a horizontal nipple that just goes onto the side of the bucket. And it seems as though it works without nearly the amount of water leakage. So in the end, changing the nipples on the water really worked out for us. The third thing that we learned the hard way was that we didn't acclimate our dogs soon enough. And at some point, one of our leghorns came onto our side of the fence and the dog caught her by the neck and that was all she wrote. So since then, we put leashes on the dogs and brought them out every day. And eventually we were able to drop the leash and now they come out and they're not on the leash at all. The chickens come onto our side of the fence and the dogs leave them alone. So if you have dogs, do the hard work sooner rather than later. That's cool. So, I think it's always helpful to So we hope you liked this video and you found it helpful and we'll see you soon.